Hello and welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm going to make a cake uh, for my daughter's cake smith session and her decor, which is going to be like a balloon arch. Um, so I have some stuff for that. But first, let's make a cake. Let's bake a cake. So I have this tin. Uh, it's from the Hema. I'm gonna bake it twice because if I do it just once, it's not gonna be high enough, uh, and I want to have like cream in the middle of anyway. Um, here you see what I have. I'm just gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna use this uh, baking mix from the little. Um, yeah, and my daughter doesn't respond well to dairy, so I'm, I'm using this butter, and it's all plants. And I'm using this almond milk, like almond drink. Um, I got some eggs, and later for the buttercream, I have like icing sugar and just butter, uh, and it's gonna be white, so I don't need coloring agent. I tried to bake like a giant cupcake once, and I have the link in the description. Um, I use like a special mixture to make the buttercream, but it's weird because it tastes like a tiny little bit salty, which I don't really like that much. And there's milk, like dairy inside, which is why this time I'm using just butter and icing sugar to make my own icing buttercream. Um, so first I'm going to bake this cake. I use 150 grams of butter, 50 milliliter of milk and 4 eggs. I'm just going to mix it all together, place it in here and then bake it for about like an hour at like 150 degrees Celsius. So what I usually do is I melt the butter a little bit in the microwave so it's easier to mix. Otherwise you get like clumps in your mixer thing. So I melt a little bit in the microwave just for a very low setting. So it's not melted completely, just a little bit and it's easier to mix. Okay. Okay, what it looks like now, I'm just gonna grease up the shape and then throw it in. Okay, so I'm gonna bake this in the oven for like an hour. I only have one tin, so I have to wait until I can bake the other one. Also, the oven is quite small. I could probably fit in two, but I don't only have one tin. So yeah, it's actually my daughter's eighth birthday that we're celebrating. So it's not gonna be like a typical case smash where a one-year-old is uh, like slapping on, like slapping the cake or dipping one finger in and scared to eat it. Or some some uh, one-year-olds didn't really dive into the cake. But this is gonna be different because she's eight. She already has done seven cake smashes before. Um, so I'm gonna show you some photos of her previous cake smashes. And this time I want to do like, make like an arch or like garland out of balloons. Never done that before, so I'm going to show you how. Now, I, I can already maybe start on the buttercream, which is just going to be mixing the same weight of icing sugar with the same weight of uh, butter. So 250 gram of icing sugar with 250 grams of butter. Just mixing it and of course not melting the butter first. So these ones might be better to mix the butter. This is like a metal thing, I don't know if you can see like this like make it completely cut in the middle and then put like some cream in between or whatever so that's like a cool tool and i'm just gonna link it in the description where i got it um at least then you know the name in dutch maybe you can translate it to your native language and i'll look for it on the internet i don't know if that works i don't know if it's enough uh, but it's just going to be in between the two layers and then all around it and on top of it I'm gonna smoothen it out a little bit, but not cover the cake completely because I want it to look like a naked cake. So I might even have like three layers of cake um, with then like two times buttercream in between. I can add some vanilla. Of course, if you want, you can also add like coloring. Yummy. It's really sweet and tasty. Okay, I'm now going to insert the icing in the piping bag. You know these clips from Ikea that you use to keep stuff fresh? I'm just gonna put it on the edge. Okay, so I just took out ooh, the cake. Now I have this uh, little wooden stick and I'm gonna stick it in the middle. And if it comes out dry, yeah, the cake is dry. 
Okay, so I put some butter on the inside and then some flour so it hopefully doesn't stick. For now, I'm gonna just let it cool down for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out because it's like super hot still. But I don't want it to cool down completely in the shade because then, I don't know, the chance I think is bigger that it gets stuck. Also, I need the shape to make the new cake. Okay, for moment of truth, I'm gonna open it up. It's okay. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna try and finish the cake for now. You know what I just did? I lifted up the cake and look at the bottom. Like a part came off. But anyway, I was just thinking maybe I want to create like a few more layers. So I want to cut the cake. It's just a uh, piece of wood. buttercream like the icing is so thick and I don't know maybe it's because it's too cold I'm not gonna pipe it out of the bag I'm just opening the bag at the back and just uh, taking like whole lumps out and I think I might have to make some more tomorrow because I don't think I have enough but like yeah I'm just opening it up and then getting the icing out and ideally I would have like thick layers of icing in between um, this is just the first time I'm actually making one of these, so I'm learning as I'm going. It doesn't have to be super smooth. Okay, so I'm going to um, make more buttercream and then finish it off. And I'll probably just make the same amount so I can maybe add a little bit more in between the first and the second layer. And then just completely cover it with the delicious cream <laughs> of my daughter so first I'm going to ask Freddy to come here to vacuum and I'm going to get balloons and stuff and we're gonna create a beautiful arch and she's probably going to help me so it's gonna be fun so step one is just going to blow up tons of balloons I have a special device here to close the balloons let's see if that works. okay so apparently the thing is called a balloon knocker and you just stick your fingers through this part halfway now it's so super easy so you buy this on well I bought it on Aliexpress and it's just like a ribbon um, transparent can you see yeah there you go so there's like a hole inside so you can enter the balloon very easily just enter the balloon through the hole and now they're all stuck so, and with the uh, thinner balloons, like the darker color, I put two balloons in each hole. Uh, these balloons get bigger, so I just put one balloon in each hole. So here we go. I'm just going to attach it to the uh, background. I don't know if I put the balloons too close together for like a nice arch it's okay we'll see how it goes but anyway i put six darker purple on the outside 
then six pink, five gold, I think it's four like ivory, then again five gold, six pink, six purple. So you can do the math and then you know how many balloons I have here. I'm going to use a fishing line to connect them because it's pretty much like a see-through. The dress that my daughter will be wearing because it's so cute as well okay so actually i got a new dress for my daughter and it's from the zara and i'm gonna show you a close-up because now it's just white i actually i wanted to, <laughs> thinking about like dyeing it with tea so it gets more like a vintage vintage look and feel and it's like a little bit like sand colored maybe like just like cream instead of like pure white uh but i mean she can wear i have a beautiful new scarf Take some photos of her in the new boho corner um so yeah this is the beautiful dress it has beautiful lace here you see the price tag on the bottom and i got it a little bit bigger you can always wear it with like a little brown belt little cowboy boots a hat and a scarf so cute Anyway, she's getting dressed and I'm going to prepare the cake. Okay, so here we have the cake. So I'm just going to use some, in this case, real eucalyptus. And I have the forest animals. So here you see the final cake result with the decor. It's not like a, a forest animal themed decor, but just something I wanted to try out. I think the cake looks pretty good. I also have some golden spoons that I bought. Um, I think they're super cute. So she's gonna get a golden spoon. I think I have some beautiful photos. Um, now we're going to actually eat the cake. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments. Bye bye. Hey, Steam Dear. Oh, this. Yeah, how much are eight?